Happy Easter guys, let's have an egg-cellent day. So welcome back to Northern Exotics guys, a pet YouTube channel that loves to educate and show people the fascinating creatures that lie within. If that's something you're interested in, please consider hitting subscribe. In today's video, we're going to be running through all the eggs. We've got the stick insect eggs, we've got the leopard gecko eggs, we're going to go running through and check to see if they've laid any more eggs, show you how to set them up, and we're just going to have a general Easter day. Let's start. He goes loving his Easter, sat there doing absolutely nothing, just like he should. Let's check popcorn, check him out. Fast asleep underneath his hide. He had a big meal yesterday. He's finishing off his Christmas turkey already. Let's start with checking these stick insect eggs. The spiny stick insect eggs. They've not hatched yet, but we're not expecting them to hatch yet, so that's them. Let's give them a little mist down while we can, while we're here. That'll do for them. Let's get the lid back on. Bit of fresh air in there for them. Let's move on to the Black Beauty stick insects. Again, it looks as though none of these have hatched yet. So um, don't worry if yours haven't hatched. I did give a load of these away. Um, let's give them a mist. Right up in the corners. Du, 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 du. There we go. That's them one sorted. And the Indian stick insects. Oh my God, these have exploded. Check out all the babies in there. Oh my God, there's hundreds. Let's get them set up. Du, du. Look at all them, just on the lid alone. Whoa. Oh my God, they've properly exploded. Look at all them. This is going to be entertaining. Holy cow, there was 37 Indian stick insects gone into there. I've got to get new privet. That's a job for later on today. And let's miss down the eggs again. Again, these eggs need to be kept really moist and really humid. So I do it like that. It's a bit too wet, to be honest. But I'll leave them somewhere hot so that'll all evaporate nicely. That's the stick insect eggs complete. Now time for the pupa shell for the Macularis ugandis, the giant flower beetle. Let's have a look. There it is. You can see him just inside the pupa shell. So he's, wow, he's getting there, growing up nicely. You can still see the beetle forming really well inside there. So I'm going to leave him back in there with the viewing hole at the top. Let's move on. Just open the Pac-Man frogs, the baby Pac-Man frogs enclosure. And he's gone for an escaping run. Check that out, he's off. Come on, mate. Joey. If you want to get fed, he keeps spraying me. Right, stay. Hey, you can't get out. So as per the advice of the breeder, the person I got him off, I'm feeding wax worms to him today. Plus it's Easter, it's a nice little Easter treat. He's growing up dead fast. Um, he'll be in a new enclosure within the coming weeks. That little, little turd. <laughs> we have picked a name for him. Stay tuned to find out what that is. Thanks guys for all your name suggestions. They were very insightful. But now it's time to go check out for some eggs out of the leopard geckos. Can you guys see a bit of a problem here? I think that is an egg. Let's go and have a look. This can't be good. Look at that guys. Right underneath their hot hide, two slug eggs. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. But let's go check inside that egg box. So here we go, we've got the egg box. We have got Donna is inside the egg box. So I'm gonna get her out to start with. And it does look positive in here. Come on, girl. Let's get you into your hide. There we go, she's in. Let's go digging. Now as you can tell, there's no substrate here. It's all kicked up into this corner and this corner. So it's looking really positive. Let's go for a dig. Shall we start down this corner? And we just gently keep rummaging it, rummaging it around just like this. Oh, have I found? Nope. And just keep going and going and going. Oh, there we go, guys. First egg, just there. And second egg, just there. Now, I'm not expecting any more eggs in here, simply because there was two inside one of the hot hides. But there. there we go then, guys. Let's get these bad boys. Oh. 
There we go. Da, 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 da. There's one. They're big eggs they are. This one's... Oh, there we go. And... There's another one. Let's set these up. So to set up the baby gecko eggs, I've got myself a tub, lid, fork, and I just gently stab in a couple of little holes, one there and one directly opposite, so here. That way I've got good circulation over the top of the eggs, and I'll show you that in a second. There we go. Two holes, one there, one there, and me tub. The medium I'm gonna use that's right, you can use vermiculite, you can use perlite, but loads of other bits and bobs you can use. I use hatchrite because there's a water isomer built into it and it takes out the stupidity of doing it, so I don't have to guess how much water needs to be in. Two thumbprints, just to make two little indentations, just like that. Then I'll get the new eggs. I'm not twisting them. You can twist these, but I'm not, and I'll bury them halfway in, just like that. Now these are some big eggs. Check out the size of that one, absolutely amazing. And then I just gently push it around the sides. Now again, back to the two holes. I've got one hole there, one hole there. The eggs are that way, I'll go that way. And push the lid on, so they've got a bit of ventilation. The air will pass straight over the two eggs, just like that. Let's get them in the incubator. So first of all, sticky label. I'm gonna to write today's date on it, which is the 21st of the 4th. Peel that off. I know what um, geckos they are, so I don't need to write all that jargon down on there. I know the genetics, but there we go. Perfect. Open the incubator, straighten. Let's have a look at the ones on the bottom. Look at them too, working perfectly. They're swelling up nicely. They were laid on the 30th of the third. Shut the door, leave them. Back to the lay box, give it a good spray down. Get it a bit nice and moist. Shake it all about, whack it back in the enclosure. Holy cow, the mealworm eggs are really starting to hatch out. Look at all them mealworms. Hugo, stop trying to escape. I'll let you out when I finish filming, dude. What an excellent day that was. We have plenty of eggs. We've got plenty of prospect for the futures. And we've got about two weeks left in one group of leopard gecko eggs to come out. We've got another 50, 45 to 55, maybe 65 days for the other than the new leopard gecko eggs to come out. So if you want to see how they turn out, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell just so you're going to see them. You'll get notified every time I upload a video. One of those videos will be about them. We've had an awful lot of stick insect babies hatch out as well. This is an excellent day. I better get started building a rack for these baby leopards.